Now that you know how to find the greatest common factor and least common multiple of two numbers, we're going to put them together. So to do this in this example, we're going to use the prime factorization method for both the greatest common factor and least common multiple. Of course, we need to start off with the prime factorization of both 132 and 504, which I've listed those numbers down below. Now, when you're finding the greatest common factor, remember the word common. That will help you to remember to find what's in common of the, out of those prime factorizations. So they have a 2 in common, they have this 2 in common, and then they have a 3 in common. So we'll just write those down and multiply them out. So the greatest common factor is 2 times 2 times 3, or 12. Now for the least common multiple, since we already have the primary, uh, the prime factorizations of those two big numbers, we'll use that to find the least common multiple. We're no longer thinking of what's in common, instead you want to think about multiples. So you want to look at those two numbers and list the numbers that go into them. In other words, in 132 I have twos threes, and eleven. So I'm going to write those down. I've got my twos, my three, and my eleven. Now when I look at 504, I have still have twos, which I have written that down. I've got the threes, which I have written down, but I also have a seven. So now it's time to write that one down. But we're not finished because I want you to think multiple, which is usually a bigger number. So therefore, I'm going to go back through and figure out what is the largest number of twos that I have. Notice I have two twos in 132, but in 504, I have actually three twos. Also in 504, I have two threes. So I'm going to add those exponents. Now when you write the least common multiple down, it is such a large number that you can just leave it using those exponents. So let's talk about your students, your future students. Where do you think they will get confused with the greatest common factor and least common multiple? Actually, the names is where students get confused. The greatest common factor is actually smaller number. And then the least common multiple is actually a larger number. So I say, Instead of emphasizing, emphasizing the greatest and least, instead you want to emphasize the common factor in the greatest common factor and multiple, because multiple makes you think of a larger number.